YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back on Homeworld Deserts of Karak. We're going to get back into this, starting the next mission, which is the Kalosh Wreck. So, this will actually take place at the same map, uh, but slightly after the events of the last episode, where we uh, did some scanning of some wreckage of the Kalosh site. So, we'll see what happens now, and obviously we should expect that we're going to run into more of our Gaussian buddies who are, of course, happy that we're out here in the desert to visit them because they are lonely, generally speaking. For the first time in as long as any of us can remember, we are finally able to shed some light on the history of our planet and conceivably our origins as a people. What we have found here is nothing short of miraculous. An ancient starship lost to the desert for a thousand years. The structural damage it sustained, the compression patterns, the debris footprint, all of it is consistent with atmospheric penetration followed by ground impact. But why did it crash here? What happened? Many questions remain unanswered. We know that the satellite data we collected identified hundreds of similar sites scattered throughout the Great Banded Desert. Each one of these could be a wreck just like the Clash. It is safe to assume the Galcian have been exploiting these resources for years. Now it's our turn. Composed of exotic materials and compounds not native to our planet, each represents a potential treasure trove of untapped resources and alien technology we can leverage in our fight against the Galcian, and which may well hold the key to our survival on Karak. All crews, prepare to ship break. charges on the wreck and detonate them once I'm clear of the blast zone. Still here. Understood. Renner copies. Okay, looks like all my units are still where I left them. Reading you. Let's see. Reading you. Charges placed and enabled. Ready. All right. Pull back to a safe distance and initiate detonation. That's when we are getting comfortable. The charges can be detonated individually or as a group. Runner copies. That unit is down. Get it back up and running. Okay. We're going to explode the ship breaking charges. collect the artifact. I'm going to go ahead and heal uh, Capisi, just in case our actions tip off uh, another sequence of events here. And let's see, I'd kind of like to get some extra units out to each one of these points to do some protecting. Let's see. Let's go see how many resources we have. Those take 10, and railgun doesn't take any, so let's go. We're going to do three railguns and three more armored vehicles. And then we'll start there. It's going to be a good point. So Rachel's just about got Capisi repaired. Strike responding. Our light attack craft are in better shape now. I think we'll be able to cover all these positions still. I don't really remember 
too much about this mission. Like I remember the general gist of it, but I don't remember exactly how it plays out. So we'll just we'll just see whether or not I make the right choices here. I'm gonna take this armored assault vehicle. I'm gonna say Control Shift Four, and I'm gonna send it out here with Group Four. Guard set on armor. Take up guard on that vehicle. No. Armored assault online. Guard set on railgun. Just go out there. That's what I want you to do. And we're going to call this one. We're going to add it to group three. Group three assigned. Then we're going to move it over here. Seal vents, we're moving down range. Renner copies. Okay, Rachel has repaired the carrier. We're going to go artifact pick up the artifact. Plug. Get on it. Armored assault operational. We're going to put this group one, control one. shift two. One group two assigned. We're going to put it in group two. Lock us down for long range travel. Uh, let's actually hold Rail off here. just a minute on that artifact just in case it triggers. Railgun operational. Just in case it Rail triggers Gaussian activity. Control group four designated. Basically, I'm trying to continue to hold down these different rec sites. Roger, displacing now. So that's why I'm creating the extra units. Let's see. Railgun online. I'm gonna get a few more. Actually, I don't know if we need that many more light attack craft. Let's leave some slots open for more fighters, like uh, strike fighters. Ranged online. Control group three designated. On our way to new sector. Okay. Railgun operational. So Control we got railguns and Over armored assault range. craft heading out to every other spot. PC, go ahead. Light attack vehicle online. All right, so I think we're in good, good shape here. We still have a couple of upgrades that can be done. Support cruiser anti-air would probably be a good one. We also need to get some uh, salvagers up. PC, go ahead. Confirmed. Fleet group one assigned. Destination set. All right, so we got our light attack craft all ready to go. Secure the Colossite with turrets and mines. We can put mines up, and like I said, all this stuff costs money, though, and I don't find, at least in the last mission, that it did a very effective job at stopping the AI. Um, so I'm not going to mess with it. We're going to move Rachel out here as well. Salvager ready. Or actually... I think the salvager. Salvager online. I think the salvager can pick up the artifact. It can. Go for carrier. Carrier copies. New heading. Just. Carrier here. Get her moving. What do you need? Salvager online. PDA active. Location marked. Artifact recovered. Authentication confirmed. Weapon range systems offline. Okay, we got the artifact. We're going to bring it back to Capisi. This is our available artifacts, the just artifact the sensor waveform thing. The this one makes us uh, have better power. power. Capisi. Capisi yeah, it does. It helps a lot, actually. Nice find, Rachel. Currently active. Attention there we go. The artifact manifest is now available to review the latest science analysis and data. Identified. We must push out into the valley and salvage the remaining wreck sites before we run out of time. Understood. Send orders. CUs identified. Proceed to site. Hostile. Be aware. Scattered Gaussian contacts detected near wreck locations in the valley. Okay. Ensure salvage teams are well defended. We shall certainly do what we can. Understood. Salvage teams form up and await orders. Capizzi reading. See about strike craft. I've updated the salvage we don't have enough population to make more strike craft right now, but we have two flights, charges. which will be helpful. Understood. We've got sensors up, so we've got pretty good visibility on each site. We just need to watch the engagements when they happen to make sure the enemy railguns don't tear us up. Strike craft ready. Speaking of railguns, Rachel can right. hack Gaussian Rachel units, but it, it actually cost resource units. So what you hack needs to be something worth what you're going to spend in resource units, if that makes sense. So if you look, 
um, hack ability. It takes 50 resource units. So it's not cheap, and if you hack like a small vehicle, it's it's not going to be very good. There you, you can see some railguns approaching already. Okay, so I want I want railguns in a good firing position. I want the base runner kind of hidden. Just want to keep everything nice and tight for defense purposes here. We got a rail gun under fire. Yeah, the enemy's got several rail gun Operation. units. Green line confirmed. CU field depleted. Alert. On Court way. taking hostile fire. Get us CU site exhausted. Hostile rail guns have opened up. I'm going to take out these railguns with the light attack craft, and then these units over here hopefully can stay supported enough by the support cruiser. Fighting will get a little more intense uh, on this mission. And this is all the more reason why it's important to have uh, repair vehicles with each group. Okay, so our salvagers are busy collecting all these resources, and we're getting fairly close to having it done. We just need to do the collection at each site, um, and we should be good to go. Again, I'm going to keep I'm going to keep units ready to help defend these sites so that we don't lose a bunch of units. And the groupings that I have should be fairly capable. We can always support with aircraft too. I just don't want to get too hasty and launch my aircraft before it's good timing. So all you got to do, I think, is just keep an eye on things, use your resources to take care of business. What we will do, we're going to have to have a support cruiser over here to do that site eventually. Um, let's see these guys. Once they make a drop. Okay, what do we got? Okay, light attack craft, sand skimmers. I want to keep my light attack craft away from the fight unless there's rail guns around because I don't want a bunch of them getting killed and end up costing me a bunch of units. Let's see, so let's go ahead and start moving salvagers out here. This ought to be a pretty easy fight here. Again, utilize support cruisers to the best of your ability. Let them let them help you keep your units alive and gain veterancy. It's going to be a very important piece, I think, of being successful in the campaign and not having to use near as many resources as you would otherwise. What is this that's... Is it a turret post or something that got tore up? Could be. Okay, let's take these guys over here. We're ready for orders. These salvagers out here. Receiving. Alert. Support craft has been engaged. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Oh, got an enemy railgun up. We want to stay away from their uh, any armored vehicles, but we want to hit their railguns with everything we got. There we go. So that was a good attack there, getting in behind them. Let the base runner tank some damage. Let's see, got an attack inbound on the Capisi actually, so we need to come we need to come plug up this hole. Carrier repair systems are unavailable. We can uh, reduce the damage and give the carrier enough range. There we go. So Capisi should be able to hold its own against uh, this little nonsense raid. There we go. Push her through. Hostile range craft destroyed. Be advised. Carrier repair systems online. Armor systems active. Alright. So we got our salvagers moving out. The salvagers are pretty slow. It's gonna take them a while to get to where they're going. So far things are going well though. We're uh, not taking unnecessary damage. And uh, everything's looking pretty good. One of our salvage teams is approaching a wreck in the valley. Updates to Yeah, it was a turret post that they were trying to kill. And we'll use our support cruisers to help uh, 
salvage at these. The problem is, is we don't have a support cruiser. Where did we lose? Did we lose some units? Cruiser ready. Got three rail guns, four AAVs. We lost a rail gun here. That sucks. Ready. Coordinates confirmed. Punch it. We gotta go. I'm gonna get my light attack craft spun up and get ready to get around behind and hit those rail guns. The Gaussian rail guns are pretty good, and they can jack you up fairly quick. Oh, I've gotten I've gotten engaged too too early here. We're gonna back off. We want to get away from those sand skimmers too, which have the high ground at the moment. Just lost another railgun. The support cruiser can't repair them as fast as they get killed by the uh, enemy railguns. Oh, hopefully I can save this one. I sure didn't. So crap, we're losing railguns. So that's annoying that their railguns can kill mine before I can have any chance to do anything about it. Command carrier will be fine. Listen up. Railgun online. Be advised. Firm. Carrier Firm. repair Firm. systems Firm. online. Ready. Let's throw these in with. Fleet group three assigned. No, Dad, gammon! I just screwed everything up. Rachel here. Fleet group four assigned. Four. Cruiser reading. Two. Railgun operational. Fleet group two assigned. Why did all the salvagers end up there? That's kind of weird. This is. Reading you command. Three. Control group three designated. Hostile armor and okay, we're gonna need these guys. Control shift three. Fleet group three assigned. Okay, there we go. Active while we move. Where do we have host? Okay, we got hostile AAVs coming in over here. Uh, should be fine. Salvager ready. Prime charges. Salvager up. Time's a wasting. Need to put some charges out here with the salvagers. Salvager copies. Reading. Green line confirmed. Send message. Okay, those guys are going to go for Capisi. Copy. I'm going to back up all my ships because I, I do copy. believe that you can copy. damage your ships. Receiving. Coordinates confirmed. Okay, we're going to have to... Punch it. We gotta go. Sand skimmers be dang. We're going to have to take the light attack craft in here to save our other ships from getting torn up by the Gaussians. So we got to get in here and distract the uh, rail guns with all of our light attack craft. And if we lose some, we lose some. But it's cheaper than losing a more expensive craft. I'll hurry and get them back here, get them repaired. And get ready to make a run on the next group. Alright. Well, actually, hell no, we can't wait. The rail guns have range on us now. Move, move, move. Boost. Okay. So we're gonna boost. Got our rail guns headed out. So we'll be able to help better support. There's That's what we want right there, ideally. Just swarm up on rail guns when they lose their, uh, their light attack craft support. And let's blow up these charges. Intel, See, it blew up our turret post. Looks promising. Green line, oh. great work. Continue salvaging. We need to get our salvagers away from those light attack craft. Oh. That didn't take long. Galsian forces are responding to our salvage operation. I imagine they are. Galsian strike group confirmed on sensors. Redirect defensive forces to our salvage crew's position. Galsian air units are probing our position. Okay, Gaussian air units. Uh, let's get uh, support cruiser anti-air, and then the base runners will have anti-air as well. Fact recovered. Authentication confirmed. The turret is under fire. Okay, so all of our guys are safe. We're still at 119 population, so we haven't lost anything. We just have to keep an eye on our salvagers, make sure that the uh, enemy doesn't paste them whenever I'm not paying attention. Okay. Support cruisers have been outfitted with anti-air defensive systems. Go for ranged. Get us underway. Copy. Guarding strike craft. 
on reading you. Coordinates confirmed. Move order confirmed. See you site exhausted. Let's go tear up these sand skimmers real quick. Strike craft taking effective fire. We're getting some pretty nice veterancy in our light attack craft. I like this. Come on, get those sand skimmers. Get them. What else we got coming? We got railgun groups headed at us, so let's get back here and repair our uh, light attack craft quickly. Are you sight exhausted? On our way. Okay, should Move be pretty much front. set. Punch it. We gotta go. Let's go get all over these guys. Crap, that's an armored vehicle. It's gonna be great against my uh, light attack craft. I might lose some here, but looks like my railguns spun it out. Good, good, good. Our group did great there. They did great. Fire on the move. We got another group uh, rolling in. We gotta get, we gotta go get those rail guns fast. Enemy rail gun firing on friends. My guys will get a little bit of repair while rolling through, and then uh, I'm gonna boost out here again, so that we can get uh, a quick response on these rail guns. One of our turrets is taking fire. There we go. So didn't lose any units once again. Let's get our camera reset back to normal. Boy, they are really going after that site. That one's going to be kind of a doozy to uh, get all of our uh, recovery done. But once we do, it'll be good. We can kind of just abandon it. That base runner took a beating on that last attack. We need our light attack craft repaired. These light attack craft are actually super handy on these missions. You can use your strike fighters. I have strike fighters, but I'm kind of saving them just in case we had an emergency or something up at Capisi. Uh, but you certainly can use strike fighters for this kind of thing. Move to intercept. CU field expended. Enemy air strike inbound. Okay, our support cruisers all do have anti-air capabilities, so hopefully it'll be effective. I might, yeah, I lost a light attack craft because of that interceptor targeted them. But otherwise, we should be good. Light attack craft are pretty, pretty easy to uh, replace. Though I do hate losing ones that have veterancy. So that's my biggest concern with losing them is I don't like losing the veteran units. Lost a couple of veteran units there, unfortunately. So I'm actually just going to crank out some more light attack, uh, light attack craft right now. Got more groups coming in. Uh, let's go ahead and call in a raid from Capisi. Ready, set. Fleet group five assigned. Strike fighter approach vector dialed in. Salvager online. Set. Op ready. Ah oh, man, I made salvagers. What a joke. Didn't mean to do that. People returning for decommission. Fleet capacity capabilities are now at maximum. Unidentified craft on approach. Mark the bearing. Okay, we took out one railgun. Whoops. I gave Capisi an attack order over here. Okay. Reading. Strike craft destroyed. Strike copies. Control group one designated. Contact. Enemy armor. Bearing designated. Coordinates. Hostiles designated. Trackers assigned. We gotta go. Okay. Armored vehicle is taking fire. We're good over here. Um. What happened to my salvagers? Oh. Did I give the salvagers? I some for some reason I gave the salvagers a move order. I don't know how that happened or why. Yeah, I accidentally gave the salvagers a move order, but it was good. It saved their life. Because <laughs> they would have gotten killed by that little raiding party right there, so that, that worked out real nice. Yeah, the salvaging here is going to take quite a while. Um, it's going to be it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. Let's go ahead and take these two salvagers and move over here. Get Capisi. Strike 
your approach vector dialed in. Strike systems online. Ready to burn. Op ready. Fire smoke on mark position. I'm gonna smoke up until my fighters get here. Come on, strike fighters. There's my strike fighters. A little bit late, but um, they got here. We lost a turret post in the process, but I'm kind of glad they were targeting the turret post. Jeez, I really lost two LAVs there? Yeah, the command carrier's, command carrier's good. Um, that's really frustrating. It's actually immensely frustrating losing those units. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for eyes on to authenticate. Elbows are up. Time's a waste. Yeah, the Gaussians will harass you relentlessly on this mission. Alert. Hostile. Got more coming in already from over here. A rail gun is taking effect at five. Confirmed. Runners go ahead. Set new heading. Gaussian strike fighter we just downed right there, so. Let's go ahead and start moving these On the move. these On guys the all the way over to there. See, this is going to destroy our scanner posts and stuff too. Found an artifact at this location. Looks promising. Time's a waste. Great work. Continue Let's move group three back up here. Systems ready. Construction units identified. Deploying at next rec site. Expecting Gaussian reinforcements. Okay, we no longer need to guard this rec site, so we can move up the extra reinforcements. Um, let's actually. Let's go ahead and start moving them way over there. Proceed to new coordinates. PC, go ahead. Strike fighter approach. I'm gonna see what's down here, like what the Gaussian have sitting around. Ready to burn. Those rail guns may actually. Go for ranged. Confirmed. Rail gun targeted. Go for armor. Armor is on route. Reporters are under attack. Immediate fire support on that position. Enemy rail gun firing on friendly. Let's see if we can defeat this group real quick so that they don't come up behind me. Should be good. What do we got over here? Proximity warning in effect. Hostile on sensor. Authentication pending. Strike craft making effective fire. Copy that. Ready. Engage. Gonna get the rail gun. Again, we'll probably lose some LA uh, light attack vehicles. What's going on down here? Soon. Yeah, I'm sure they will. We're going as fast as we can here. Craft destroy. Understood. Keep your eyes open and be ready to okay. pull back to the Capici. One. Carrier is taking five. Let's go get these guys. Enemy rail gun eliminated. Operate. We got a rail gun under fire. Just gotta remember to use these smoke screens effectively too. Trying to at least. There we go. Let's uh, get some of our light attack craft back up. Why are you making salvagers? Is that? I don't know. Okay, it's not. Okay, we're good. Got all of our ships moving. Should be good. Salvagers are recovering resources here. Get my light attack craft healed up over here. Group one assigned. Acknowledged. Guarding support cruiser. Reroute powered engines. Let's get them out there too. PC reading. Looks like there might be a couple of interesting blips on the radar there. I'm gonna go check them out with some strike fighters. See if we can get a little bit proactive here. But yeah, it looks like the mission's going well. Let's uh, follow this strike fighter group. Go out here in the desert and see what we can find. Try and give you all some sweet close-ups. We got a Gaussian blip out here. Nothing, huh? 
Alert. Oh, there they are. Strike fighter in circulation. Hostile interceptor down. So you can see my strike fighters putting some hits on those guys over there. Let's go back to group three. Okay, got our salvagers over here. Salvager copies. Let's get our uh, get our wreck site primed with charges. Prime charges. Salvager copies. I don't really like how the charges blow up your own units. I mean, it kind of makes sense from like a realism standpoint, but it's irritating because they want you to put sensor posts and stuff around. I guess you didn't have to put the sensor post right on top of it, but I kind of felt like I had to in order to protect my units. Capisi's getting hit by a railgun. Um, let's... So we can match the range of the railgun. So we're gonna... I can't leave it that way because of the heat levels, but we can uh, crank up the ranged ability of the carrier. Let's go ahead and run those upgrades when we get a chance to. Enemy railgun eliminated. Be advised. Carrier repair systems online. PC, go ahead. Strike fighter approach vector dialed. Saw some enemies coming from that direction, so I'm going to go ahead and call in an airstrike. Assault modifications carried out. Send com out. Uh, not at the scanner. Get the charges, please. Charges. Enemy airstrike inbound. Uh, apparently I only had three ch three charges on it. Need it. Fire support on that side. Charges right there. Cruiser ready. Reading it. Okay. I think we're safe. Hostile detected. Visual unconfirmed. There we go. Our strike fighters are going to pick up these units. We'll finish them off with the LAVs. And let's go back to group four. And uh, let's get our get our last charge primed up here. So, okay. Be advised. All rec sections at this site have been processed successfully. Moving out. There we go. We got plenty of protection up. All right, so strike fighters are back at the carrier. Ready. Destination set. We're being hailed by the Galcian carrier. Here we go. Stand by to receive. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. The jet carrier can be seen. There can be no hiding from the Galcian in the great desert. We are the desert. As before, you have violated this holy site. Only now you have chosen to destroy it, pillaging its sacred artifacts to serve your profane ambition. You may go no further. Prepare to face the wrath of the Duke, and beg his divine forgiveness. I will pray. Okay, so the Galcian are attacking, and they've got quite a force there. CU site exhausted. Reporting. Enemy productive Galcian commander Kagan has cornered us. Oh well. We are heavily outnumbered. They will mount their assault from all Oops. sides. We must stand our ground. On our way. All personnel, man your battle. Get our salvagers out of the line of fire. Railgun is taking effective fire. Probably gonna lose a salvager here because I can't get it away from them fast enough, but we'll see. Okay, well, we'll get everybody back to the Capisi. Okay. Let's let this group destroy this uh, inbound threat here. Hate to leave behind so many resources, but shouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, let's throw some support. And let's. Okay. Strike craft destroyed. 
Alright, so I've got all my units in retreat, and I'm using my light attack vehicles to cover some of that retreat, and we just... Enemy armor let's uh, let's attack this group over here. Let's actually just keep salvaging. Well, no. Let's go ahead and pull them in. Oh, move, 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 move. we got a lot of armored assault vehicles. So I really don't want to... Uh, let's deploy... Deploy a mine here. So yeah, I'm gonna use my base runner to uh, leave some some little presence here. All right. So we've made the retreat. So, looks like Sakala is here. Take that, Gaussian dirtbags. Capisi, this is Captain Machado of the Sedim carrier Sakala. Sakala, be advised. The enemy carrier Ashoka and her fleet have us surrounded. Understood. We warned you and our coalition partners for years of the Gaussian threat. We called for a total cleansing of the desert wastelands, but now this appears beyond our reach. I suggest we finish off these Christian while we have the advantage. Agreed. The Gaussian carrier has an escort of multiple cruisers. Recommend immediate advance on the Gaussian position. Okay, so now we can get our salvagers back to work. Capisi, say again. Request targeting the siege cruiser positions. Copy, Sakala. Are you sight on scan? All units. Move on those siege cruisers now. Copy. On our way. Strike copies. We'll support Sakala here. I'm gonna call up some strike fighter uh, hits. Green line confirmed. Engines hot. And we'll watch the uh, strike fighter shots take place. Cruiser ready. Grid updated. Let's get group four. Group two. Coordinate set. Except for support cruiser. We've got hostile on deadheads. Confirm visual. Interceptor taking five. Interceptors are taking a few shots back from some missile batteries. Did we lose? We might have lost an attack. Yeah, shoot. We lost two strike fighters because they have the uh, anti air. I forgot that they have the anti air now. All the more reason for me to finish off these resources real quick. And then we'll help the. Uh, Aw oh, man, all those mines ended up getting wasted. They were about to stumble right on top of him, it was gonna be brilliant. Let's use this, um, dune. This dune's gonna be great cover for our light attack crap. Ooh, nah, never mind, there's a lot of armored vehicles approaching. Let's get this group. Start tearing into these guys. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Get back, get back, get back right here. There we go. Two. Crap. Ready. Get these guys. Now get them. There we go. Now we should be able to overwhelm. Overwhelm the Gaussian forces there. So we're good. Their siege cruisers are kind of holding back a little bit. So we did that without losses, which was good. Let's uh, make sure all of our vessels get repaired they should and we got our armored assault out here already I want to get all these resources collected before we uh, before we go after the siege cruiser ready for command We're ready for operations update are you in the region have been drained. good good yeah I just want to pick up all these resources let's see what other artifacts we picked up fixed uh, scalar matter compressor range cost efficiency reinforced cruiser holes yeah I'm not interested in any of those right now the power efficiency is Working out nice for me. Salvager ready. All these resource units would be uh, kind of crappy to lose. Ready. Enemy armor on approach. Ooh, look what that siege cruiser did to all those light craft. That's why you got to be careful of those things. But essentially, uh, we can use. We can probably use our rail guns. Like if we, we got a nice clear line of sight over here. Let's let's uh, move our rail guns that way. 
we'll try and stay... We'll try and stay outside the range of the siege, uh, siege cruisers. Oh, I wonder if we can hack a siege cruiser. We're that would certainly... Can you confirm visual? Armor vehicle taking Ooh. effective fire. Here we go. Hostile light attack vehicle. Visually let's burn these guys back over here. Let's use Rachel. And let's see if we can hack a siege cruiser. I don't think it's going to give me the option to hack a siege cruiser. Crap. Lost a rail gun when I wasn't paying attention there. That's annoying. Ah! Rachel got hit by an EMP. Just get out of there. Light attack craft got this. Yeah, let's just pull Rachel, Rachel back. She's getting hammered by stuff. I'm gonna get my light attack craft away from these armored vehicles, hopefully alive. And have the Sakala's uh, support cruiser help heal my guys. And it looks like from a salvaging standpoint we've picked up anything of great interest. So we're good. Let's take out the siege cruisers. I'm a little bit worried about just straight approaching it. Um, let's call in... Make ready. Let's call in our strike fighters. Strike copies. Copy escorting support cruiser. I thought that support cruiser... Yeah, it's healing me. Whew, yeah, see how the, uh, the Sedan light attack vehicles are just getting smoked. We need our ranged units to really put the hit on uh, the siege cruisers. Let's get this uh, support cruiser up here to repair Rachel. Rachel. Okay. Let's get up here and support with the light attack craft. Come on, Rachel. Kite back, kite back, kite back. Crap. Those missile batteries are what's going to give me trouble. Oh, crap. I got EMP'd. Come on, get me out of here, get me out of here. Yeah, just fall back. We're getting hit by too much crap here. There, we got a good hit on the siege cruiser and pretty much got away with it. There we go. So my strike fighters managed to get the Galcian siege cruiser. We lost uh we lost a pretty good number of vessels there, which was irritating. But we got the Galcian siege cruiser, I think. And we're gonna force the Ashoka back. So that'll be a success for this mission. Got all the resources, managed to push the enemy back. We did take a few unnecessary losses at the end, but um, we'll be all right. I don't think it's gonna end up impacting us too badly because we ended up collecting those extra resources. I'll let you all watch the end of this. Hope you enjoyed it. Personal log, operations officer Clea Soban, expedition carrier Capisi. How many days have we been out here? Feels like weeks already. We've re-established communication with the North. Reports from Tyr are encouraging. Pockets of resistance have sprung up and are holding Galzian forces at bay. But for how long? Here, crew morale remains high despite the constant engagement with Galzian forces. I can't say enough about the men and women who've signed on, risking their lives for this expedition. Our goal feels almost impossible at times, but there is hope and a will to succeed against all odds. For now, that will have to do.